We got a red dot. Welcome back to Akron's hottest and fastest growing show. I'm your host, Hank Forrester, coming to you live from inside the confines of lovely Acme number one. You can see the roads out right now. You can see the sunshine. This is your early weather report that that is all gonna change in the next 24 hours. So be ready, folks. We got a big winter blast coming tomorrow and it's gonna get messy in a hurry. All right. Also, I'm wearing my mobile screen of Ohio shirt right now. Uh, one of our former sponsors, who's still part of our 3 3 to go family, has a real big announcement coming up this Friday. So make sure you check Mobile Screen Ohio's page and they'll tell you what's going on. But today, I am here with the folks from Rubber City Reuse, not Rubber City Reviews like our movie show. And I have to be careful every time I type that out, okay? Rubber City Reuse, all right? And we're here with Haley and Ben. Guys, how are you? Good, good, thanks for having us. All right, so, so much. first question, I always ask everybody, what's your Akron story? Where'd you guys grow up in the 330? Yeah, go ahead. We grew up in Wadsworth, Ohio, uh, Seville, Ohio. Uh, I went to Cloverleaf High School. Okay. I went to Wadsworth. Okay. Uh, we haven't lived there for a little while. I've, I've been in Akron now two years after living in Los Angeles for five, but before that, I lived in Akron and uh, right here in Walhaven, actually, over here at the woods of Fairlawn, and, and now I live in uh, in LA, on okay. the east side. Okay. So, yeah. So hold on, you were you were in LA? How long were you there? About five years. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How's that traffic like? Oh, I loved it. Well, I didn't really drive much. I took the subway, but yeah, it was fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you said Cloverleaf. Yes. All right. So uh, I don't know if you know, I don't know what year you graduated or what year he graduated, but a guy yesterday scored a. Touchdown in the Kyle. Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, Kyle. Did you know Kyle? Um, he was older than me, but everybody knows him now. Okay, yeah. So Kyle, you know, <laughs> find a clover I put it up on the network yesterday when he scored the touchdown. Hey, Browns, we need a fullback. I think we just signed one. All right, so guys, you started a project. Tell me, okay, Rubber City Reuse. Yeah. What's it all about? Yeah, so we uh, specialize in waste management, but we do food waste, so we collect food waste from uh, our clients. We then take that food waste and we compost it. Um, we compost it with local community gardens like Akron Cooperative Farms in North Hill and Let's Grow Akron and they have community gardens all over. Um, we compost that and um, most of that's donated to them for their use. A lot of like uh, vegetable gardens, flower gardens, things like that that you see around town. Uh, we're supplying the compost for that essentially. Now you remember we were out at Akron Cooperative, <laughs> that's always hard for me to say, Akron Cooperative Farms. We were out there and um, so we got a chance to tour that, if you remember that day, and it's, it's, a, it's a North Hill community, it's mostly for the Bhutanese and for immigrants that run that land area. Yeah, yeah, they're a big membership there. Yep, yep, so that's really cool that you guys are partnering with them. So, how do you get the, the stuff? Where does the yeah. compost come from? Yeah. Go the ahead. compost comes from um, local businesses, companies, and we now do residential. Okay, and I saw that you're working with First Energy now, is that right? Uh, Dominion, First okay. Energy is kind of on the way. Okay. Still in talks with them, uh, but they're downtown headquarters. Actually. That's Dominion yes. East Ohio Gas? That, yes. Okay. Yes, so, so tell me the process, what do you do? Yeah. How do you get the stuff? So what we do, I'll use Dominion for uh, an example. And if you could be, be direct if it's gross, because I can't imagine yeah. it's like clean. <laughs> no, so it's, it's actually not bad. So what we do is we try and keep it as close to taking out the garbage as possible. Um, we didn't want to come up with some whole new process and what we worked out with Dominion, for example, they have little kitchenettes and cafeterias throughout uh, their Springside Drive location there in Montrose. Um, we have specialized bins um, inside these kitchenettes where people can uh, throw their food waste, obviously. Um, then their janitorial crews come at night and we have separate um, uh, trash collection bins on the outside that we provide as a company for them to put this um, uh, food waste and things like that into. Even uh, tree trimmings, a lot of office plants that die, anything that can really be composted. We then pick that up just like a garbage man, take that and, uh, and add it to our compost piles. All right, so my next question then would be, how do we as a consumer know what is compostable? Right, right. Um, mostly because, I mean, like we, you, we can't even learn in Akron like how to recycle the right, right way because right. we, we always get in trouble with, with the recycle police, right? So. When it comes to the food, what, are, what can and not go in there? Yeah, so basically any organic material, think if it comes from the earth, even paper is compostable actually. In fact, that's a great ingredient for our carbon. Um, we need three parts brown to one part green. Anyway, sort for another day, but paper's great. Anything that can come from earth, 
Um, we do, with our one client, do meats and cheeses, although uh, meats and dairy, although it's not uh, advisable just because right from all that stuff. Um, but, um, but anyways, anything that, think of your salads, your grains, your oatmeal, um, but obviously a huge part of what we do is, is education, uh, because, you know, like you said, people are always wondering, you know, uh, what's compostable and what's not. So what we do with our clients is, before we even start collecting uh, the material, we have like lunch and learns or like information sessions, usually two or three times with their employees or department heads um, to really educate the employees um, on what can go in there, when the program starts and how they can be a part of it. Um, and that's one obstacle we found with you know, residential collection is that um, you know, it's a much wider audience to uh, educate. So it kind of works. Right now we're working with a lot of uh, grocery stores, restaurants, uh, corporate campuses, because we can kind of get all the employees together as like a little micro community and educate them on not only the importance of doing this, but how to do it properly. Cool. And if they can't remember that day to day, we have labeled trash cans and posters that go above the trash cans so that it's always right there for them to know what goes into that container. Okay. So um, now, is this just a side gig or is this a business now? Or how does this work? Yeah, this, this is a business now. It's, okay. So we are uh, a little six months in. Okay. Uh, we've been in business for over a year, but the last six months we started with the Excel Center and Bounce Innovation Hub in, uh, here in downtown Akron. We know Bounce well. Yeah, absolutely. So we started down there through the Excel competition and uh, right now we're growing. We've got our first couple of clients. Uh, we've also got a couple of larger pilots going on. And it's just kind of growing from there. Okay. So um, internally, as you continue to grow, um, where do you see it going? What's the goal? You want to you wanna just do Ohio, nationally, I mean, what, 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 do you, what do you see, what do you want the end? Well, the main goal is to divert food from landfills. Okay. Uh, it's not just good for the environment, but we've got to move away from landfills, that's our mission. Um, but our goal isn't so much as, uh, let's say, a, a huge growth across the country. Our real goal would be to kind of create this, this synergy between communities on how to do this and, and how it does impact the environment, how it can impact their bottom line. Um, but um, to really kind of create that community of, of knowledge is, is our long-term goal. Yeah, and feel, folks, feel free to share this, right? Especially if you work at uh, yeah. waste disposal places, because I would think a natural partnership could could exist immediately with some of the big sure. boys, right? Oh, absolutely. Where you can reach out and say, hey, we could do a separate bin, and yeah. you could be part of their collection process. I'm not sure how that would work, right? Right, right. In fact, actually, at the University of Akron, their cafeteria, um, they used to have some of those those large, uh, you know, 500 gallon or, or whatever uh, trash bins outside that you see picked up with the big fork truck. Mm -hmm. um, through composting at their cafeteria, they were able to break that down into only two of like the carts you have at home for waste. And that larger bin they used to have is now all compostable material, which is great. Which they compost down in the county, and then they bring up they use uh, around the gardens there at the university. So. Um, you know, it's, it's adaptable. Okay. Well, guys, I really appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you thank so you. much for, for yeah. reaching out to me and, and, and back and forth there. And I wish you guys the best of luck. And um, for those of you that are involved in the city of Akron and, and the 330 that work in these sorts of fields, uh, please feel free to reach out to them. Once, once this video is complete, they'll have an opportunity to share it um, on their own social media as well as with you as well. Um, so. To find you guys, you yeah. can find you on Facebook. Facebook mm -hmm. and, on, and on Instagram as Rubber City Reuse. Okay, what, do you have a website yet? Yep. Website, rubbercityreuse.com. Okay, and what's our phone number? 330 942 <laughs> That's a wrap from here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, what do we got going on this week? Oh, yeah, Wednesday. Dion Wheat, our intern from WCIP with the University of Akron, is making his broadcast on-air hosting debut. He'll be working with uh, Danny Marie, uh, Danielle from the SIPA Solidarity Network, and they're going to be doing a joint show at the university with a uh, panel of campus attendees that are going to be talking about bar life in Akron as a college student. Where to go, what to do, how to behave, all the do's and don'ts of the Akron nightlife bar scene that is coming to you this Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Until then, I don't know where I'm going, but there ain't no sense of being late. You two, join me now and say goodnight, Shirley. Good night, Shirley. Good night, Shirley.